Hi everyone, I'm Andrew from ActiveChat.ai and in this short video I will show you how to use our native Google Sheets integrations that is available in ActiveChat.ai Visual Chatbot Building Platform. We will be working with uh, this test spreadsheet that I have built for this uh, demo video and it contains emails and names of uh, four people with their positions in the companies, company name, phone numbers and comments. We will use our chatbot to search uh, through email column to find specific emails, then display information about this email owner and then maybe adding some comments to it. First of all, let's jump uh, to our Visual Flow Builder. Uh, this is a demo skill in the chatbot that I have built for this demo video. And uh, let's walk through this flow. We are starting with catching demo event. Uh, it will be triggered uh, when someone is typing slash demo in your chatbot. And then we are sending text column asking the user to enter the column and then listening uh, for the input and putting the input into column variable. Then we are asking the user to input value to search for. And then again we are listening to user input and put this input to search variable. Then we are uh, sending the user a text confirmation searching and we jump straight to GS search block where we do actual search through Google Sheets. First of all, to make this integration available, please go to your bot settings, integrations, Google Sheets tab. After you connect your Google Sheets account, you'll see the list of your Google Sheets with the IDs for these sheets here. If you add new sheet, you can click refresh and a new list of your available Google Sheets will be fetched. So, to search for the information in a specific Google Sheet, we are using this GS search block. It is available here, GS search and GS updates blocks. And if I uh, check the settings for this block, I can see that I can select a spreadsheet. And this is test spreadsheet for ACGS integration. You can see the name here. And the worksheet is sheet 1. You can see it here. And then we will use column and search system variables to check for values in the column that user indicated. Next, after this block is executed, we will check GS result system variable. This variable will contain OK if uh, the value was found in the uh, specified column in your spreadsheet. And if it is not, then uh, this uh, GS result variable will contain text the value was not found. And then we will just send not found message to the user and provide the user with a button to try again, uh, triggering the same demo event, efficiently going to the beginning of our chatbot skill. If GS result is equal to OK, that means that the value was found, and then uh, the GS row variable will contain the number of the row where this variable was found. And then we will provide the user with values from other columns in this row with email, name, position, company, phone and comment. Please pay attention that uh, these variables are named after the column names GSA, GSB, GSC, GSD and so on. And you can see the column names here A, B, C, D, E, F and so on. So basically when you are using GS search block, if the value is found somewhere in your spreadsheet, then these variables G, S, A, B, C, D and so on will be populated with specific cell values from uh, columns in this row. Okay, so we are displaying this data to the user and then uh, provide the user again with two buttons. Uh, one try again triggering demo event and going back to the beginning of this flow and another add comment that we will check later. First of all, let's go to Messenger and see how it works in Messenger. I will trigger this skill demo the bot is asking me for column, okay, let's search for information in column A and then value to search. Okay, let's say I am looking for gym at gmail.com and I'll just type gym. The bot says searching and then the bot tells me that data was found in row 4 and provides me with values from this row. Email, gym at gmail.com, name, position, company, phone and comment. If I check my Google Sheet, I can see that uh, the values are from the row number 4. Jim Wright, manager at Google, phone number and comment meet him soon. Ok, how do we change this data with uh, our chatbot? If we click the button add comment, this takes us to another couple of blocks. 
The bot is asking, type the comment please, and then listening to user input and putting the user input to comment system variable. And then we jump to GS update block. For this block settings, we are using the same spreadsheet and worksheet that we have used in GS search block. And then we tell where to put uh, this data. We'll be using GS row system variable that was populated after GS search block was executed. And then we will add cell value, telling the chatbot to put comment system variable into F column. If everything goes OK, we'll just send message updated and then again button try again, triggering demo event. Please pay attention to this uh, text block with error message displaying last error system variable. This block is connected to error buttons in both blocks in GS search and in GS update to check for possible issues when these blocks are executed. Uh, this block is required uh, and it will let you know if something goes wrong when these blocks are being executed. Otherwise, your chatbot will fail silently and you'll uh, have some uh, hard time trying to guess what was wrong. Let's see how it works on Messenger. I'm clicking Add Comment button and the bot is asking me to enter the comment. I'm entering He is a great guy and the bot says me that the value is updated. Let's see how it works. Okay, we can see that the value in the comment field changed to he is a great guy. So you can see that uh, this uh, works and actually this opens up uh, a whole new world of opportunities for your chatbot, for storing information, for retrieving information, for uh, doing all kinds of data processing with Google Spreadsheets integration. Thank you for your time, thanks for watching, stay tuned to our updates on Active Chat uh, YouTube channel, subscribe now and uh, don't forget to build chatbots that bring actual value to your users. See you again soon.